what's up everybody and for this week's force friday we are going to do our part three of three of our recent battles which is the ig11 from sh figuarts versus the ig11 from hasbro now as i mentioned in the review <laughs> the figuarts is going to win but i think it will be interesting to see what categories it doesn't win how the articulation compares plus taking all that into account with the price so with that let's go ahead and get started and we'll start with accessories Accessory wise, the SH Figuarts usually is always going to blow the Hasbro out of the water. There's no exception here. The SHF comes with the two guns. It comes with the Baby Yoda pouch. It comes with alternate hands. The Hasbro comes with guns with no real original thought put into it outside of the bandolier, which the SHF also comes with. So in terms of quality, in terms of quantity, the SHF clearly takes it here. Moving on to build and materials, this is classic SH Figuarts territory here with them taking the lead by a far cry in both the build and the materials. Now, just to try to play it fair, just to give Hasbro some bail when they're getting booked for these egregious charges, this is an older Hasbro mold. So it's not like the current stuff where that gives Figuarts a tighter run for its money. So something to consider there. But they definitely take the lead. The plastics are more refined. They feel better. They're denser. And the surface area is stronger. And what I mean by that is less malleable less gummy and unlike their recent Mandalorian attempts it's actually built fairly well so it's got that going for it as well hardware wise they both are gonna tie they're not using anything insane here either one of them we're basically using hinges ball joints swivels standard fare all right so i'm gonna be really critical here in order to try to give hasbro a fighting chance do you know what i mean like there's no fun in it just being a slaughter so moving on to sculpt and paint and looking at it from the front the shf feels far more alive it feels far more organic it feels far more natural i know it's a robot don't tell me that in the comments <laughs> shut up <laughs> But you know what I mean by organic? It feels alive. It feels like there is a soul to it, in a, in a matter of speaking. While the Hasbro feels very static, it feels very, like, just pushed off the assembly line with no sort of life to it. Tons of sculpt comes through in both, but I think more comes through in the SHF because of the color palette and the way that they've applied the paint. It brings out the details of the sculpt more, whereas the Hasbro, with a lot of the darker colors, specifically down here in the legs, it does not. Now, to Hasbro's credit, the bandoliers here lie far more natural on the Hasbro than they do on the SHF, which is a sh which is interesting just because they created the bandoliers for this figure, obviously, where they created the whole ensemble here together. Something to think about. They both have tons of paint, tons of details, tons of sculpt. It's a hard thing to really judge, but I think I have to ultimately give it to the SHF for general presentation, whereas the Hasbro, the only thing that I really think takes the lead is the way the bandoliers sit. Moving on to the head, I feel like the the SHF is far more purposeful. It's part, it's sharper. It's a sharper mold. It's a cleaner mold. The Hasbro one, like especially like all the little bits that stick out, like look a little clunkier, less refined, less cleanly sculpted. The paint on the SHF is far superior. Whereas if you look at the Hasbro, like that one swatch of silver paint across his tin man shaped head, it just doesn't do it for me. It's an attempt, but it's just not quite the same. From the side, it's pretty much the exact same criticisms of the Hasbro, the exact same praises of the SH figure. Arts. Nothing really new to report here. However, if you look at the bandolier from the side, see how it's jutted up on the uh, SHF? That's kind of what I'm talking about. Moving on to the chest, torso area. This is where Hasbro gives them a fighting chance, really. It comes down to this bandoliers. This bandoliers just look super awkward on the SHF. Deco-wise, they're about tied. Generally speaking, proportionately, I would give it to the SHF, but because of those bandoliers and just how wonky they are, I have to give it to the Hasbro. They sit perfectly. It's almost insane how well they sit. From on the side, we're pretty much dealing with the same set of circumstances here. It's just goofy how far that bandolier sticks up and the rest of it is kind of tied. Yes, the SHF sculpt-wise is more intricate, but the Hasbro one does a really good job of it too, so nothing to really write home about. Moving on to the arms, the sculpted detail is actually pretty comparable. It just looks cleaner on the SHF and so is the paint in all honesty. Fortunately, I feel like the SHF looks better. They're able to make a smaller arm, which ends up looking, I don't know, a little bit more ig -ish. But this isn't leaps and bounds of a difference here to me. Looking at it from a side view, uh, pretty much the same thing. Like, they both have that drop-down thing underneath the forearm. The Hasbro one has that, like, weird bolt off of the elbow. I'm not sure what that's about. But, yeah, I mean, uh, same thing. Obviously, the SHF is more sophisticated, but the Hasbro one puts up a fight. Uh, the pelvis, I think, is one of those examples where the SHF starts to kind of really show its teeth. And it doesn't really let off for the rest of this comparison. I think the swivel hips for the Hasbro are just a poor choice 
choice and end up causing issues for the look of the figure from here on out. Sculpt wise, it is interesting. A lot of them use a lot of the same cues, but the SHF takes a lot more detail. The paint looks a lot more purposeful. It's just, this is, this is the beginning of the end. Now from the side, it's more of a tie because the obvious faults of the Hasbro don't pronounce themselves as well, or as much, I guess would be a better phrase to use, but you can still see a little bit of it, especially in like the details around the hip joint itself, a couple extra paint apps as well. And this is, I think, along with the head sculpt, kind of the defining point of what puts the SHF on a different level. The weathering is purposeful. The paint is purposeful. The washes are purposeful. The sculpt is more accurate because it's not being reused from the IG-88 mold. Everything from the weathering on the thigh coverings down to the extra added sculpted detail at the front of the feet put this thing on a different level. And there it is from the side and pretty much the exact same thing. My sentiments remain consistent, especially if you look at those extra added little details on the feet. Like it's stuff like that that puts this thing in a different pocket. Looking at them from the back, I'm not sure which one is more accurate, but the Hasbro one has the extra stuff on the bandolier as well as the holster for the gun, which I do like. A lot of the kind of really apparent issues with the Hasbro one in comparison to the SHF don't pronounce themselves the same way. So it's kind of a saving grace there, which is, I guess, fortunate for them. So let's take a look at finals. So looking at final scores, the SH Fig Wars takes the head, hips, thighs, lower legs, and the front view. I gave Hasbro the back because I think they deserve points for the bandolier, just not enough to win the category. So throw them an extra bone there. And I gave Hasbro the torso once again because of the bandolier. The arms, I tied them out because the distinctions there just aren't unique or significant enough to make one a clear winner when you're kind of comparing the rest of the piece. Moving on to articulation, the Hasbro head has a swivel back and forth it's all one connected piece. The SHF has a swivel at multiple different areas in order to kind of give you more options for display. Um, there's no forward and back really either. That happens somewhere else. We'll get there in a minute. The Hasbro has a universal basically for an ab crunch forward and back with the swivel and the bandolier gives it a lot of room. The Figuarts pretty much operates the same way except it's on a neck joint so i'm going to tie them out there and then they have a swivel the bandolier does not give it the same leeway hasbro shoulders are universals get you up to 90 degrees and around shf same thing up to 90 degrees and around the hasbro doesn't really have a bicep swivel it kind of gets a little bit up in the joint of the shoulder but then it has a forearm swivel to kind of allow you the proper movement so it kind of works the shf has a bicep swivel the hasbro has an elbow uh, it's way down the arm and it's very limited. The joint itself is there to get you more, but because of the way that they did the padding around it, uh, it gets you maybe 10, 15 degrees. SHF has a 90 degree elbow. For the hands, Hasbro really doesn't have anything. It's operating off of the forearm swivel to get you that swivel and nothing else. The SHF has a wrist hinge and swivel. The Hasbro hips are on a swivel that gets you forward and back for the full Monty. The SHF are on ball pegs. You can get in and out a bit, plus forward and back, but to a lesser range. Thigh swivel on the Hasbro, less of a thigh swivel on the SHF, but it is there. Knee on a single hinge that gets you 90 degrees. Knee on a single hinge that gets you 90 degrees. Ankle tilt up, ankle tilt down, no rocker. Ankle tilt up, ankle tilt down with a rocker. So in regard to articulation, I don't think it's any surprise that SHF takes it, but what I do think is interesting is where Hasbro takes it. It takes it at the waist because it has a wider range of motion and it takes it at the thighs because it actually has a thigh swivel joint and I don't believe the SHF does unless mine's too tight and I couldn't find it. They tie at the neck because they both operate that ab crunch slash neck joint pretty much the same way. They tie at the chest for the same reasons. They tie at the shoulder because they both utilize pretty much the same engineering. Same goes for the knee and neither of them have a foot joint. SHF takes everything else. The head by a long shot. It has a bicep swivel. The elbows are greater range. The wrists are more intricate and the hips allow for more outer movement along with the ankle rocker. So scale has been a bit of contention with this guy, right? So I've pulled a number of images from the intranet and it looks like his helmet should come up to about halfway up this first canister. So for the SHF, it should come up to about here. So he's far too big. For the Hasbro, it should come up to about here. So he's far too small. 
You know, so neither one of them are right. I will say that this one gets it closer. So this is the one I'm going to give the point to, meaning the Hasbro. However, neither of them are accurate. And here's a series of images to illustrate my point. This could very well be the Hot Toys image that I'm looking at here. But let's say that they have the accuracy down pat, because they normally do. And uh, I think I have to give it to the SHF. I don't think that should come to anyone as any real surprise. Uh, it's just that the head sculpt looks more appropriate with the more bulbous top, so to speak. The wiring is more accurate because it's actually to the character as opposed to another character that's been remolded. The feet are more accurate. A lot of the details in the chest are more accurate with slanted pants panels more so than pistons and so forth once again because it wasn't used as a remold so yeah the likeness category shf is going to take as well all right jana which one of these looks better this one all right and oh you're giving them to me this time yeah or you can grab that one if you want which one feels better probably this one okay all right selena which one looks better that one this one mm -hmm. okay and which one feels better? I feel like they're both really fragile, but the smaller one looks, um, felt better. Oh yeah? Okay. Yeah, thank, you. thank you. Baby? <laughs> so it's Christmas. What? What, what? what show is he from? Merry Morning. <laughs> uh, which one looks better? The big one. Alright, and feeling? Which one feels better? Am I going to be both fragile? Mm, you listen to Selena. Mm -hmm. What do you think in your head? Oh, yeah. It's a little one. Okay. And I don't have my wife here today because of scheduling, so that's it. Which brings us to our final scores. And Hasbro takes the scale. It also takes the feel because I got my kids judging that and that's what it is. Had to be consistent. And they take the price because it's one fifth of the price basically. SH Fig Arts takes accessories, build materials, sculpt, paint, articulation, and presence. All kind of the high bar most important stuff with a figure to be fair in my opinion anyway. And then they tie in the gimmicks because they don't really have any. They tie in the hardware because they're using the same stuff. And and they tie in the likeness because I think that they both do different things better than the other. I decided to give it a tie there. There's something about the color palette that's a little bit more accurate on the Hasbro it seems. So while the sculpt doesn't necessarily lend itself to it, I, hey, it didn't really make a big difference in the turnout, did it? For a final score of 7-3 SH Fig Arts. And look, I think we knew it was going to turn out this way. I don't think it comes as a surprise to anyone. I think it's interesting to compare the molds nonetheless. I think it's interesting to compare the choices and decos nonetheless. There are some things that Hasbro kind of does better. But this one is, this one's a slaughterhouse. Like, this one's a rough one. This is just, this is old school reflection of what SHF and Hasbro used to be when comparing the two. And I think it's interesting to juxtapose this next to the Mandalorian ones, which have been a little tighter. So yeah, a decent enough exercise, I believe. Hope you guys are staying safe. Hope you guys are staying sane. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.